I literally thought you had two guns. Well, and then they just kept coming out of the truck. Hey, we get two new guns a year. You know yeah. this. You know this. Funny story. The first and only job I've ever been fired from in my life was at a trap range in high school. Yo guys, welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. We're back at the range today and I have every gun that I own and we're gonna be shooting all of them today. I literally thought you had two guns. You literally thought I had two guns? Well, and then they just kept coming out of the truck. Hey, we get two new guns a year. You know no. this, you know this. You should know how to shoot all of them. So we're here at the range today. We're gonna be shooting all of my guns and I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on what each one is and why I have it. All right, so first we got a Glock 19. I actually got this gun for free at a, uh, here actually, at a Sporting Clays charity yeah. shoot. And so I was just a raffle. Like I bought tickets for it. I got a backpack and in the backpack was a Glock 19, kind of cool. And then here is my home defense gun. This is a Ruger 9 mil, flashlight on it, quick on and off. This which is a home gun, right? Yeah, I mean, they're all home guns. They all, oh. they all live in our home. <laughs> if someone breaks in. Obviously my prized possession, my Jesse James, five five six with the wood beautiful wood stock so we got we got the jesse james gun we got my satori which you guys saw in the last video we have a uh, savage arms 410 over under which we're going to shoot today i'm bringing it back i'm shooting a little trap you know as you guys know i'm a big sporting clays guy but is i'm getting the one from the other day yeah this is exactly the one Where's you shot mine? the other day this is yours they're all yours who no. am i kidding <laughs> they're all yours we got a Remington 1187. This is like the OG. This has been in my family for a really long time. Bird gun, great all around gun for whether you're shooting clays or you're shooting birds, goose. I mean, you can really do a lot with this thing because it takes a three inch and a three and a half inch shell. We have this custom McDonald's. Oh wait, let me see that. All right, McDonald's, Ron McDonald's, Ronald McDonald house, Browning sporting clays gun. So I've actually not shot this thing Was much. This it's a gift? This was actually from a good friend of ours named Ed Rincey, who was really big up in McDonald's and put on a lot of charity shoots, raised a ton of money, and uh, he gave this gun to our family, and we've had a lot of fun with it, shooting clays, especially for when like, friends come into town and they want something to shoot, then we'll shoot with it. And then obviously you gotta have one of these in the house, just a good old pellet gun, right? I mean, a little pesky critter hanging out that you don't want around, like a woodpecker banging on your house. What about the old pellet gun? All right, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna shoot all the shotguns. We got the Browning, the Remington, the Savage, and my Satoria. We're gonna shoot some trap, and then we're gonna go over to the rifle range, shoot the handguns, and the Jesse James 5.56. So, hope you guys like this episode. As y'all know, I love aviation, I love guns, I love cars, boats, and I'm here to share all of it with you because social media is a hobby to me, and I know a lot of y'all share the same hobbies as I do, so let's have some fun together. I didn't bring my hip bag with me so that I look official and show how many straights I've got, but it's been a while since I've shot trap and I'm going against these guys. I got some pretty sick guns, so see if I can break over 20. 20 is a good goal, right? Right? 20 is a good goal. 20 is a good goal. Oh! Well, not a number I'm proud of. I ended up at 17, but I've been switching to sporting clays. What can I say? It's all right. We're gonna move on to shooting the Remington, the 410, and the uh, Browning. Funny story, the first and only job I've ever been fired from in my life was at a trap range in high school. I got a job loading up the houses, picking up shells, and with the first week on the job, I told the manager, I was like, hey man, you know, like, Maybe if we did things this way, where we picked up the extension cords over here and stored them there. He really didn't like that I was trying to change his order of operations with things. So he fired me on the spot. I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to improve. I remember I was so upset because I was like so fired up. I, had, I got a job at the shooting range making minimum wage, but oh, what a bummer. It still haunts me to this day. Moving on to the Browning Sporting Clays gun. You can tell the Sporting Clays gun because it's got a high rib along the barrel as well as uh, the way that you line up the targets on the barrels. You put this bead under this bead and then your target on top of it. It's also got an extended choke. It looks like there's an improved cylinder on here, which is pretty open. Normally guys shoot like a full choke, but it does have the ported barrel, which is cool. Pull! All 
All right, I should probably be done with this gun because <laughs> the first one. It's crazy the difference, like the stock length versus having a, a gun that's fitted for you. Like this gun feels so short to me. Oh! 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 Missed a straight flyer, dang it. Oh well. All right, next we got the Remington 1187. Oldie but a goodie. I know this gun isn't cycling properly, so which is fine. We're only shooting one at a time, but I definitely need to take it into a gunsmith and have him go through it. Oh! 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 oh the last one again. We're going to stand a little closer with the 410. She doesn't have the range. We only got four shells here. 410, not a great gun for trap, but we're gonna give it our best. We got four shells. Everyone's complaining in the chat, like, how are you getting those 410 shells? Those things are worth a fortune. Yeah, well, I've had it for like three or four years. Until the office turns red again, they're gonna be expensive and hard to find. Oh! Got it. Oh! Oh! Missed it. All right, guys, we've made it over to the rifle range. First of all, we're starting off with handguns. These are my handguns that I've collected over the past few years, one of which is my home defense gun. And the reason why I call it my home defense gun, it is a Ruger American 9mm, and it has a flashlight on it. I like the flashlight because at night, you know, you want to have the ability to see your target and not guess. A lot of people are red dots or green dot, you know, whatever on it, but I like a flashlight. Keep it simple. All right, so let's shoot the handguns first. We're gonna start off with my personal favorite, the Ruger American 9 millimeter. Ruger 9 millimeter. Moving on to my second favorite handgun, we got the Glock 19. The reason why I like these Rugers and Glocks so much is there's no safety. Uh, you know, for an experienced gun owner like myself who's been shooting their whole life, not having a safety would be really important for if you ever got into a sticky situation, you don't want to worry about a safety. I've got a lot of gun experience and so I don't, I shouldn't say I don't need a safety, but I've kind of graduated past that point. So let's shoot the Glock 19. I've actually, I've actually never shot this gun now that I think about it. This is brand new. Can't forget about everybody's favorite gun they grew up with, the old Pelly. <laughs> Thing packs a punch, doesn't it? Keep it pointed down range for me if you can. You can sit it down. Okay. Ooh. I got a good feel for it. Yeah. Well, I got in trouble for shooting their wood post, rightfully so. I would be upset too, but we're going to move this target down and go shoot the uh, 556 a little bit. Caroline and I are scheming how we're going to get out of an HOA neighborhood what? onto no, some land aren't. so we don't have to go to the rifle range to shoot. <laughs> she loves our house. But I love it. I want to be on land. She wants to be in the city. We don't know what to do. Call <laughs> the uh, on the water. All right, guys. So we are here shooting my Jesse James 5.56. It's got a Vortex scope on it. Really haven't shot it that much at this with this scope, but I kind of set it up to go shoot hogs with, and I just haven't had an opportunity to go shoot hogs. So if you guys want to see me go hog hunting with this thing, maybe throw a night vision scope on it, let me know. Let me know. See if she's still slided in. Right on the money. Literally right on the money.
All right, guys, well, that wraps it up for today's episode on teeth and turbos. As you all know, I'm doing daily videos for the next 75 days. And today's day 18, I think. I'm exhausted. I'm doing two workouts a day, gallon of water, all this crap. I am sleeping like a baby. But I'll tell you what, putting all these videos on top of it is really kicking my butt. If you guys are enjoying this content, make sure you drop a sub. I'm almost at the 100K mark. We'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.